Yasin. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Yasin. By the Quran, full of wisdom, you are indeed one of the messengers on a straight path, with a revelation sent down by the Mighty One, the Merciful, so that you may warn a people whose fathers were not warned, and so they are unaware. The word has been proved true against the greater part of them. They will not believe. We have put yokes around their necks right up to their chins, so that they cannot bow their heads. And we have set a barrier before them and a barrier behind them, and we have covered them up so that they cannot see. It makes no difference to them whether you warn them or do not warn them. They will not believe. You can warn only those who would follow the reminder and fear the gracious God unseen. Give them the good news of forgiveness and a noble reward. We shall surely bring the dead back to life, and we record what they send ahead and what they leave behind. We have recorded everything in a clear book. Recount to them the example of the people to whose town our messengers came. When we sent them two messengers, they rejected them both, so we strengthened them with a third. They said, Truly we have been sent to you by God as messengers. They replied, You are nothing but mortal men like us, and the merciful God has not revealed anything. You are surely lying. They said, Our Lord knows that we have been sent to you, and our duty is only to convey the message to you clearly. But they answered, We see an evil omen in you. If you do not stop, we shall certainly stone you, and you will suffer a painful punishment at our hands. They said, Your evil augury be with you. Is it because you are admonished about the truth? Surely you are a people transgressing all bounds. Then from the furthest part of the city a man came running. He said, My people, follow the messengers, Follow those who ask no recompense of you and are rightly guided. Why should I not worship him who has brought me into being and to whom you shall all be recalled? Shall I take others besides him as gods? If the gracious God should intend me any harm, their intercession will be of no avail, nor can they deliver me. In that case, I should indeed be in manifest error. Indeed, I have believed in your Lord, so listen to me. We said to him, Enter paradise. And he exclaimed, Would that my people knew how my Lord has forgiven me and placed me among the honored ones. After him, we did not send down against his people a host from heaven, nor do we send down such hosts. It was but one great blast, and they fell down lifeless. Alas for human beings! They ridicule every messenger that comes to them. Do they not see how many generations we have destroyed before them? Never shall they return to them. All of them, gathered together, will certainly be brought before us. There is a sign for them in the lifeless earth. We revive it, and we produce grain from it of which they eat. We have placed in it gardens of date palms and vines and caused springs to gush forth from it, so that they may eat its fruit, though it was not their hands that made this. Will they not then be grateful? Holy is he who created all things in pairs, of what the earth grows and of themselves, and other things which they do not know. They have a sign in the night. We withdraw from it the light of day, and they are left in darkness. The sun, too, follows its determined course laid down for it by the Almighty, the All-Knowing. We have ordained phases for the moon until finally it becomes like an old date stock. The sun cannot overtake the moon, nor can the night outpace the day. Each floats in its own orbit. Another sign for them is that we carried their offspring in the laden ark. We have created for them the like of it in which they ride. If it were our will, we could drown them, then there would be no helper to hear their cry, nor could they be saved. 
It is only by our mercy that they are granted provision for a time. When they are told, Guard yourselves against what is before you and what is behind you, in order that you may be shown mercy, they turn away. Indeed, not one of your Lord's signs comes to them without their turning away from it. And when they are told, Give to others out of what God has provided for you, those who are bent on denying the truth say to the believers, Why should we feed those whom God could feed if He wanted? You are clearly in error. They say, When will this promise be fulfilled if you are truthful? They must be waiting for but one single blast, which will overtake them while they are still disputing. They will have no time to make a will, nor shall they return to their own people. The trumpet will be blown, and at once they will rise up from their graves and hasten to their Lord. Woe betide us, they will say. Who has roused us from our sleep? This is what the Lord of mercy promised. The messenger spoke the truth. It will be but one blast, and they will all be brought before us together. On that day no soul shall suffer the least injustice. You shall be rewarded only according to your deeds. The people of paradise shall be happily occupied on that day. They and their wives shall recline on couches in the shade. They shall have fruits therein, and all that they ask for. Peace shall be the greeting from the merciful Lord. And God will say, Separate yourselves from the righteous this day, you criminals. Did I not enjoin you, sons of Adam, not to worship Satan? For he is your sworn enemy, but to worship me? Surely that is a straight path. Yet he led astray a great multitude of you. Why did you not then understand? This is the hell you were promised. Enter it this day on account of your denial of the truth. Today we shall seal up their mouths, and their hands will speak to us, and their feet will bear witness to their misdeeds. If it had been our will, we could have put out their eyes. They would have struggled to find the way, but how could they have seen it? If it had been our will, we could have paralyzed them where they stood, so that they would not be able to go forward or turn back. If we extend anyone's life, we reverse his development. Can they not use their reason? We have not taught him any poetry, nor would it be fitting for him. This is merely a reminder and a clear Koran to warn all those who are truly alive and to justify the word against the deniers. Do they not see that among the things which our hands have fashioned, we have created for them cattle of which they are the masters? We have subjected these to them so that some may be used for riding and some for food, some for milk to drink and some from which other benefits may be received. Will they not be grateful? They have set up other gods besides God, hoping to be helped by them. But they are not able to help them. Rather, they will be brought before God as their allied host. Let not their words grieve you. We have knowledge of all that they conceal and all that they reveal. Does not a man see that we created him from a drop? Yet there he is, flagrantly contentious, producing arguments against us and forgetting his own creation. He asks, Who can give life back to bones after they have rotted away? Say, He who brought them into being in the first instance will give them life again. He has knowledge of every type of creation. He who produces fire for you from green trees, and from this you kindle fire. Is he who created the heavens and the earth not able to create others like these people? Of course he is. He is indeed the Supreme Creator, the All-Knowing. When He decrees a thing, He need only say, Be, and it is. So glory be to Him who has control over all things. It is to Him that you will all be brought back.